trying something new today. I've ruined my own surprise. Do I need it? And I'm gonna do this with my glasses on. Yes. I mean, it's already on the title. It's winning. It doesn't matter. No, we don't need it. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you want to hear, I hope you're all okay. Welcome to a brand new video. I've said it a couple of times in my last few videos, I've explained the reason for some absences, the reason for some mild panic crisis feelings behind doing these videos. Um, but I've given myself a talking to and we're back. We're back at it, we're doing it. We're not going to say any more on the subject. We're going to pretend it never happened. But we're back. I also realised I've made myself a nice coffee for the most autumnal video I'm about to film. But needs must, I wanted a coffee. And I didn't want a hot one. <laughs> it's also surprisingly nice weather outside. Whether it's actually warm is a whole other story, but it looks nice. This time of year just fills me with so much warmth and just that little happy, bubbly feeling in my belly. Like, it's the start of the cold and the crisp mornings. The fact that you can wear a jumper without sweating. You can wear cute outfits with thick tights and chunky boots. There's loads of hot chocolate. <laughs> There's so much. Um, if you haven't gathered, autumn and winter are probably my most favourite seasons of the year. You'd think I'd be a spring person because that's where my birthday is, but I'm not. I love autumn and winter. It's the best time of the year. And we've we've decided to rename it Gilmore Girl Season. It's not autumn anymore. It's Gilmore Girl Season. The best time of the year. I just... All of the cosy, warm feelings that I'm about to endure and go through and I just... Mm, I can't wait. So if you haven't guessed by now, for today's video we are doing a try on Primark haul. To start off the start of the season, I actually did a pretty chunky Primark shop. I don't know what happened. I was meeting a friend for the first time. We are internet buddies. That's a thing now. If no one has caught on to it yet, we don't make friends in a normal way anymore. We make them online and it's the best feeling ever. Like I'm such an advocate for making friends on the internet. I am old enough and have lived through this kind of society for long enough to know my dangers. It makes me so happy to know that I've made such good friends through the internet. One of them I met for the very first time and we ended up in Primark. Lizzie, you're an angel. I love everything from this shop, which is a bit of a spoiler, but that's fine. And I think you are my good look charm. Um, so if no one is following Lizzie, I will leave her link in the description below. Because if you are following me for the Disney content, she is a Disney fan to follow. So you know what to do. Today's video, nice and simple, we have an autumnal Primark haul. Um, I will be including trying clips at some point throughout this video so you can see how everything fits, etc, etc. Before I jump too far into the Primark stuff, I actually picked up something last week that was so cute. It went out of stock for a little bit and once I saw that it was back in stock, I just didn't have, I just, I couldn't leave it behind. The quickest order of my life, and I'm so glad I did. If it's perfectly into the theme of the choices that I have in today's video, but also, I just think you're all gonna love it. So, let me show that one first. So I actually got this from H&M. I feel like you all know which one this is. So it is actually described as an oversized jumper. However, I also got it maybe a size or two bigger than I needed, just because I was like desperate for that oversized look. I just think it's gonna be something that'll be nice to just throw one over pair of leggings, easy stuff. I mean, it actually does drown me a little bit, but also it's so cozy and so comfortable. This Disney jumper, it, the sleeves are a almost navy blue, and then this like olive green, deep green, this nice green color, whatever it is, green and blue, very nice. Um, I wanna say it's a bit of like a sports jersey kind of, style. One of the things that I think I've realised that is going to be my aesthetic when we do go to Disney is oversized jumpers. I've got like four in the wardrobe now ready to take with me and then obviously I'm going to be buying spirit jerseys and you know I probably won't need them 
it's probably going to be a lot warmer than I'm anticipating but you got to have them just in case and I'm really glad that I picked this one up and I just yeah you'll see you'll see you'll understand here is the first item do we all love it as much as I do? The one problem I have with the jumpers and getting them oversized and everything is this band at the bottom still like cups in, if that makes sense. So you end up like having it really baggy, but then like in the bottom it just kind of still cinches in a little bit and it's like, I don't want that. <laughs> but the rest of it, like, I really love this fit. When I originally saw this, I really liked the colours, but for some reason I wasn't convinced that it was going to work and I didn't think it would work on me either. So I just wasn't a fan of it. But then the more I saw it on people online, the more I was like, yeah, no, I need that jumper. And I'm so glad I did. Like, there's not much else I can say on it except for look at it. <laughs> I guess I'm going to be living in this for the foreseeable and I don't mind. You can actually tell how I thought this was going to be a successful shop because I ended up picking up one of the big tote bags to carry it all in which was great because it's so heavy this bag um I don't even think it's that full once you see everything I'm like there's not even a lot in it but I needed the big bag to get everything home we're just gonna have to pick up whatever's at the top of the bag because there's no order or structures or any of this let's go into it <laughs> the first thing I ended up picking up was one of those pleated tennis skirts in black this one was actually in the sale I think I ended up picking it up It doesn't have a price tag on it. <laughs> I don't think I took that out. So I ended up picking this up in the sale. It was only about three or four pounds. I'm not too sure now. It was the last one left and I just picked it up. It's actually a couple of sizes bigger than I need. However, it fits me quite nicely. Um, or it feels alright anyway. It stays on. <laughs> That's the main part. Um, it's cute. It's a little bit short. I don't really know how it's meant to sit. You'll see when I show you the try on clip. I don't know whether it's because it is too big or whether it's just the way it's meant to fit but either way it's cute it's a nice little addition to have in my wardrobe and I can't wait to style it so can you see what I mean with this skirt it has so much potential it does also have a split up the side here which I don't know how I feel about I just I worry that it's a little bit too much work like I worry there's a little bit too much work to be done for a simple basic black skirt so I don't know. Right, so the next thing I picked up has actually been a massive hit already. I ended up wearing it over the weekend and everyone that saw me in it was full of compliments. And sometimes you just need your ego boosting a little bit. And this is what did it for me. It is this plaid shirt. I actually got it in a size 20. I typically get things in a size 16. And I just got it a couple of sizes bigger because I've had plaid shirts in the past. And after a few washes, they start to shrink. They don't sit very comfortably. I just start to feel a little bit uncomfortable in them. Um, so what I've done is I've got it bigger. I'm going to wear it open rather than wearing it buttoned up, which is what I've done in the past. But there was a lot of choices when it came to plaid shirts, like a lot of choices. Um, all of them, which I wanted, to be perfectly honest with you. But I decided to just get this one. I thought it was a very neutral colour. It's got like the browns and the creams. It's giving me a lot of Taylor Swift vibes. I think it's from like the Folklore album. But it's also giving me a lot of Luke Danes vibes. So stick into the Gilmore Girls theme. Do, apparently don't want to dress like Lorelai Gilmore, I want to dress like Luke Danes and I'm not mad about it actually. I like it. I had committed to this straight away, I've already worn it out of the house multiple times since I got it last weekend. I have taken the tags off and I can't remember how much it is, I think it's something between 10 to 13 pounds so a little bit of a steal if you ask me. It's good enough quality and I think it is going to last me quite a while so I'm quite glad about this one. Um, I don't think this outfit kind of gives it enough justice so I'm just going to pretend that that isn't a thing but can you see where I'm going with this like it's just a nice simple oversized shirt it's very cozy it's very cute it's given me a bit of like dad vibes but also like farmer's girlfriend kind of thing like <laughs> Like I said before, it is 100% just Luke Danes, and I think that's what it is. All I need now is my backwards cap, and I'll be sorted. Um, but I love it. I wore it the other day with, like, an oversized T-shirt and then some leggings, and it just made this act, like, really comfortable, cute. Just because I can see it at the top of the pile, and it's another one of those Taylor Swift vibe things. I think it's what we call a baker boy hat. Is it? 
it is also giving off some Taylor Swift vibe. I just can't remember what era of Taylor Swift it is from. I want to say it's the Red album. I might be wrong. I could just check. <laughs> so what I can confirm from the internet is it is definitely Taylor Swift vibes. And I think it is from the Red, but I think it's from her original. And I wish I had like a more red burgundy colour one, but this one's cute. Um, it was... Four pounds, so a little bit pricier than they used to be. But the problem is, hats don't tend to suit me. So this is going to be one of those riskier things that I'm not too sure if I'm ever really going to wear out the house. Another favourite find from the shop was actually this, like, sports jersey, rugby shirt, which my dad says isn't a rugby shirt, but I'm sticking with it. It's like a rugby shirt-esque kind of top. It's like a jumper. Um, I think it's meant to be cropped, but again, I got it in a size 20, which I did either for the oversized look or just so it was comfortable for me because some things just didn't look like they were going to fit in my own size. Um, and everything fits perfectly, so I'm going to take it out as a good thing. Um, but I got this like rugby shirt-esque jumper. Um, I think it says, it says Michigan on it, so it's definitely a sports jersey. The craziest thing is me and my dad were actually talking about this style of shirt literally two hours before I went out. Um, and I'd said that it'd be really cool to have one. And then I found one in the window. And I've never darted so quickly to something in my life. <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you with this one because I just... I'm almost at a point of not caring how it fits. So if anyone thinks it's not very flattering, if anyone thinks that it doesn't work for me, I kind of don't care. <laughs> I love it. Something that I've wanted to fit into and something that I've wanted like desperately to suit me for a really long time is the A-line skirts. I had one like a couple of years ago that was like a denim one and it was like the best thing in my wardrobe. I loved it to death. This isn't at all like the denim one but it is still like an A-line vibe um, and it is this like, tar is it tartan? I'm going to say it's tartan style skirt. It's very A-line, it kind of, you know, it's very straight, very easy. Just because... Bottoms aren't fitting me at the minute. Maybe I did need to size up and that was just all I needed. However, this this kind of... You'll see in the try and clip how this fits on, but basically it fits so far and then it doesn't fit in other places and it's very strange and it's just unfortunate. Again, I think I just wanted to wear this with like some jumpers, maybe like a leather jacket, some thick tights and my chunky boots. One of those staples for the next couple of months. I think I can get away with wearing it for work, but I can also wear it going out and I can, you know, just kind of find different ways of wearing this which is what it's kind of what I want because I have a time I can either wear things I feel like a lot of my wardrobe is either I have to wear it one way or the other and nothing else so I am trying to find things to put into my wardrobe that has like multiple uses for so I can wear it to work but I can also dress it down and so on I really like this one the best thing I did was actually going up a size in this because I just knew that the other one wasn't going to fit great the only problem is it is a little bit tight around here, which is very typical, but then it's also very, it is actually quite loose here, so I don't know whether I can try and find a way of like bringing it in just so it feels like it fits rather than feel like I'm having to adjust myself all the time. I do just really like the colour of it, I think it's perfect for this time of year, again with tights and some boots, very cute, with a jumper, like there's just so much potential with it and I think I can find different ways of wearing it. It's very soft, it's a little bit scratchy on the inside just because of the material that it is, but like top part soft <laughs> not that that makes any difference but yeah this is what it looks like on it isn't too bad I don't think like I'm not actually too sure I can't see a thing um this is it <laughs> I guess there's not much else to say on it I think it's I think it's an okay fit it could be better it's fine quality it could be a little bit less itchy but as long as it doesn't break anytime soon but yeah, this one has a lot of potential. Another thing I think will be perfect for work is this jumper. It's like a little tiny like soft knit jumper with the um, collar detailing and then it's just on the sleeves as well. I thought it was like at the bottom of the jumper as well but it's not. An easy addition to my wardrobe that I can just throw on with a pair of trousers. I can run out the door and head to the office. It's, it's one of those like versatile things. And again, I got it size... But we've got this one really baggy. So this one I actually got in a 2XL, which is a size 22 to 24. Um, I don't think I actually realised what I was doing when I picked it up from the hanger. 
Um, it fits quite nicely, it's a nice baggy fit and that's what I like with my jumpers, I like them to be slouchy, I like them to like not cling to me and just make me feel comfortable while having to dress up. I actually had one similar a few years ago, it was black with like a Peter Pan lace collar, it was beautiful, it was from Primark. It was actually a really sad day for me when I had to throw that one out just because it had been worn too much and it had just lost its comfort. So I'm quite glad I have a new one to add to my wardrobe. This one's pretty self-explanatory and I don't think quite goes with my blue jeans but it's giving me like 2015 blogger vibes and I feel like that is almost a very niche died out category now. Anyone that was in the blogging community in 2014-2015 I think you'll get it. I think it's the colour. It was just a bit of a vibe. And I really like this and I think it is going to be pretty easy like with some work trousers. Definitely going to wear it in the colder months because even though it is quite a thin material, it's actually really warm in this. It's actually really warm in this and my office is actually quite a toasty place to work. So I don't want to put this on and then overheat. Okay, so this is the last piece of clothing that I got in this shop. And this was probably actually the main reason why I went into Primark. The other week I was watching Al's YouTube video where she did a Primark haul. And she picked up this particular item and that was where I knew I needed to go shopping. Um, I actually haven't done a Primark shop for a really long time. Um, I either kind of do one big one and then not for a really long time. Or I'll do like loads of little ones and just barely pick anything up. And I was like, this is it. This is my time. I need to get to it. And it was for this jumper. <laughs> it's like a thin knit jumper. But it's like not thick enough to be a jumper, but not thin enough to be a t-shirt. So I'm not really too sure what this kind of goes under. But it's this like green striped um, top. It is cropped. Hence why I got a bigger size. For this one I got it in an extra large, which is 18 to 20. Just because crop tops aren't my thing. They just don't sit very nicely on my torso. I don't know whether it's just the way that they're, they're made or whether it's just the way that my body is. There's just something about crop tops that I'm just not a fan of. So I always get them oversized. It's just, I love the colours of this so much that I actually just couldn't resist. And I didn't care about the cropped element. I knew that I could get it in a size bigger and I knew that I could make it work. And I think I have made it work. I've tried it with a couple of items in my wardrobe already and it, it looks alright. So I'm going to... I'm. I'm going to stick to it. Um, again, I did get it in extra large and it was £10, so it wasn't too expensive. Um, but it is this really nice little fit. I had already convinced myself that one would no longer be in stock, so I'd, I'd kind of prepped not to find it. So I'm actually really pleased that I did and... Yeah. I have no other words. I'm quite pleased with it. I'm not too sure now. It's a really nice material. It's you know, it feels really good, it's very, it feels very high quality. It feels like a very good middle ground for like this time of year. So I can kind of stay warm, but not too warm. Do you know what I mean? However, I think it's just maybe if it was longer or was a little bit baggier, like something would feel better about it. I do have some like collots and stuff that I think it might work with. So maybe if I try that. I then ended up picking up a couple of extra pieces. The cutest makeup bag, which is um, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. Winnie the Pooh is like a family favourite. I don't know if I've already mentioned this before. We really like Winnie the Pooh in our household. Our cat was called Tigger. We have some very much love of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet in this house. And I just couldn't walk away without this. I think I want to use it as my makeup bag when we go to Disney. Um, just because I can... I just like a new makeup bag for things. Like, there's... I have no other excuse. I have a perfectly fine Disney Kath Kidson makeup bag, which is probably going to be more versatile, which is probably just going to work out better for me. I just, I couldn't walk away from this one. So I'll find a way to use this, whether I put all of like maybe my camera stuff in it instead. I don't know. I just, I couldn't walk away from it. It's very cute. It was six pounds. So that's a little bit pricey. I clearly didn't think about that when I picked it up, but they've got some really cute Winnie the Pooh stuff in their beauty and pajama range at the moment. And yeah yeah and then the last piece just because it's autumn i needed it it's this candle so while i was with lizzie she was telling me about this and said that she picked it up and i didn't think anything of it i was like okay fair enough like do what you gotta do you know and then i smelt it <laughs> and i was like okay i can't walk away from that yeah so i think the thing that made me love autumn so much was the candle scents like I think it all started in home bargains they used to sell like really cheap like 99p candles 
that smelled just like this and it was so nice and I used to love burning them and it just reminds me of this time of year and it is just perfect and um, it does say it's autumn leaves so I can't really describe that to you other than that's what it says I think the best way to describe it is it's very like woody and cinnamon Lizzie kind of described it best and she said that it'll be really nice like once you've used it to just kind of keep it and I think that's what drew me to picking it up because I was like well this would be a great little like decor piece like if I can find a space on that shelf behind me that's where it's going to go I love it and that is everything from today's haul I hope you enjoyed I hope you found some new favourites to go and find in Primark if they are out of stock already I am going to apologise now because let's be honest when something is really nice in Primark it doesn't last on the shelves too long a big heads up with a lot of the things maybe do go a size up and don't worry about it if you've had to go that's not on you that's not on your body that's on the clothes that's how they're being made just pick up what you need to pick up and i think that was a big thing for me especially for this shop like i didn't go in and i didn't stress about what size i needed i just picked up a size that i knew would fit me and it's actually made this shop so much better for me because everything does fit and i don't feel bad about it in the end and i'm really glad that i picked everything that i did and i know that i'm going to make things work and i just I know they're going to be perfect for this time of year but I also know that they're not going to go to waste and they're not going to need to be thrown away in a couple of months time because I do think that I'll be able to wear them all year round or just you know keep them for next autumn as well. I think they're all really good solid staple pieces and I'm just I'm really pleased with this shop like top notch very happy with this shop. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the pieces that I did pick out. If you want to let me know your favourites in the comments below, please do. I want to know what you liked the most. Remember to let me know whether that hat fit me and tell me if I was being ridiculous for buying a £6 makeup bag. But that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and following along. And um, please do remember to like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, which is Sarah Lauren Blogs. Or on Twitter, which is where I've been a lot lately. I've been getting a little bit too into my TV shows and Twitter has been the place to talk about them. So if you do like to talk about TV shows, that is also a place to find me. Again, Sarah Lauren Blogs, but everything is linked in the description down below. And that is it for today's video. Thank you for following along and I will see you next time. Bye.